Today on Fresh Gear, it's the wired world of sports. We'll meet trophy winning mountain bike rider Marla Streb. Some of our jumps are 40 feet long, so if you don't have suspension, there's no way your body can take out the impact. So we have really sophisticated stuff now. And show you the latest high tech bikes. See how surfing is getting shaped to perfection. Well, the computerized shaping has been awesome. I mean, it's great technology. And a new way to get around the waves. Just like having a ski lift or something. Just get on your board and... Then later, shape strokes off your golf game just like the pros. And we'll take a look at the latest in high-tech gear for climbing. All this and more next on Fresh Gear. When Fresh Gear returns, we head to the beach to see how surfing has gone high tech. Well, the computerized shaping has been awesome. I mean, it's great technology. From shaping and surf reports to a board with an engine. Then later, swing like a pro. So this way I got to see and feel what I'm actually doing. When Fresh Gear continues. Surfer I know would admit to being the least bit techie, but here's a look at how computers are being used by top boarders like Al Merrick to shape the boards that pros and weekend water types use to shred those gnarly ways. And we've even got a sneak peek at a surfboard that boasts a 45 horsepower engine. The boards these guys ride used to be made like this. Today, most of them are made like this. Well, the computer lets me design a board for my pro surfers, and then because the... The shaper will then finish off the board. Once that's done, um, it's ready to go to the glassing factory where it's, where it's painted and fiberglass. And once that's all done, it's ready to run. Well, the computerized shaping has been awesome. I mean, it's great technology. But the computer isn't the only technology changing the shape of surfboards. The benefit of maneuverable fins is to be able to, to surf different fins to get a different characteristic from the board. Also, when you're traveling, to be able to take your fins out and so you have less of a bulky package to put aboard an airplane and less to break. I get to work and I check out Swell.com and StormSurf.com and look at all the reports. Tech-savvy surfers can call up surf reports on web-enabled cell phones and PDAs. To access the many webcams at surf spots around the world, a speedier PC connection is best. I, I really don't enjoy the surf reports because it crowds my surf spot up. People can't go get out of bed in the morning, go down and check the surf. They just get out and punch it up on their computer or their personal little handheld thing. It just subtracts a little bit to me from the lifestyle of surfing. Surfline.com's Lola Wave Forecasting software crunches buoy reports, weather conditions, and satellite information to predict when the best waves will be hitting every coastline in the world. For less techie surfers, there's the Tide Watch. The Power Ski Jet Board puts a two-stroke, 330cc, 45 horsepower engine inside a surfboard. You can climb to the nose like a true surfer and turn and jump like a water skier. The technology now with a motorized board, that's just, uh, it's just something to tool around on flat water. But not for long. The need to ride bigger and bigger waves has surfers being towed in via jet ski. The people at Power Ski say wave riding on the jet board isn't too far off. Just like having a ski lift or something. Just get on your board and... For more killer surf footage, check out our website at freshgear.com. Now here's something new for you surfers on the go.